Hello, who's that there? A little teddy standing in the doorway of some abandoned house? Oh, I cannot wait to see what this is going to be about. Hello, everyone, and welcome to I'm Counting to Six. A fairly recent release from Emika Games, who is also responsible to other games I've liked, such as You Must and... To a greater extent, uh, Summer of 58. And now we're just left sitting in the dark, listening to the creaks and groans of this old place. And watching the colors change ever so slightly, oh my god. <laughs> like I said, I don't know what this is about, but I can't wait to find out. The story is about a small village. At first glance, no different from other villages. But something happened in it that changed the lives of everyone involved in this story. Take a look at this and you'll see mysteries shrouded in a strange fog. And also, the story is about a man who happened to be in that village by accident. And will have to influence the outcome of a mystical event. Interesting, so a stigmatized village tainted by some event in its past. Help us. You don't belong here. Please help us. Why does my head hurt? My phone isn't working. There's no signal here. I think I drove into the village. It's getting late. I'm gonna look around. I need to find where to call from. Oh, there's the wreck of our vehicle, but we can't go inspect it, can't take anything with us, it seems. With the rain falling, the rusted wrecks all around us, and the crows cawing in the distance. Already got some good atmosphere. I am hitting some performance hitches. But it seems like they've mostly leveled out for now. Oh, look. Children's play sets, abandoned structures, abandoned bus. Luggage all left at the side like they were forced to abandon ship in a hurry. But otherwise, it's totally stripped. Oh, we can even see the birds flying around. Oh, this fog is so beautifully dense. That green haze barely filtering through, just giving us enough light to see. Oh, this is my kind of creepy and comfy. Do I hear something on my left? No, but you're guiding my attention to the right. Uh... Magazine? Is that what it says? Is that a... That is a note. We have to protect our children. It wasn't their fault. It was an accident. No, we're not going to touch this witch's body. We're going to pretend we don't know anything. It'll be better for all of us. If he finds her, he'll think it was an accident. There's nothing he can do. They're trying to protect their children, so... Did they maybe lynch the town's suspected witch, but they were worried that somebody would come back and find out? Please help me. I need to call in an emergency. Well, somebody's in there. Somebody's fiddling with a radio. Was that a scream? Wait, did that come from behind us somewhere, or from inside? It doesn't seem like we can force entry. Do you want me to head up the road? 
I definitely heard footsteps and a radio playing. Oh, it looks like the remains of, like, an abandoned fair or a carnival. A as always, the atmospherics in this game are top-notch from this developer. Almost makes me feel like crawling into one of these houses and falling asleep. Is that maybe a missing persons poster? Is somebody trying to get in contact with me? I mean, it may be useless, but also can we close the door behind us? Doesn't work. Maybe not, but we're certainly being led in another direction. Hang on. Let me have a quick look at what's around us. You are heading to this village. Why? I mean, do you even remember? You said you got a head injury in the car wreck. What is it that you were trying to do? I mean, I hate to say it, but it applies here. This place looks like it's been abandoned for years. Listen, we can even hear our boots squelching in the mud. It certainly knows how to put us here. <laughs> you stop it. Every squawk of a bird and creak of a board has me looking all... Over. Is there someone there? Hey, can you help me? You look like you're in need of help. You're not moving at all. Okay, let's ignore you and grab the note next to you. I was sitting in a boat on the lake when I saw that the fog had descended on the water. I tried to swim to the shore, but I couldn't see anything. Finally, when I touched the shore, I ran home. In the house, I saw that my wife was frozen like a statue, and my dear children were motionless. I ran out of the house in fright to find at least someone who can help me. He's dead. I need to get out of here. Can we take your... Oh my god! So we... Can't take your lantern. How about we do anything at all besides try to move past you? Oh, my... My attention was drawn that way by the yelling in the village. Now... You remind me of certain burial sites where they will literally just leave a corpse standing in an upright position. Like at monasteries or something. No, the ringing isn't coming from here. It's coming from... Well, I guess from beyond here. Inside the house, maybe? I think so. I can actually see inside the window. They want us to help. They say we don't belong here. Are there maybe two sets of voices? Is anyone here? No, but the phone stops ringing. As if the electronics themselves are trying to silence themselves to hide from me. Hello, bear. I'm like, you're pointing the way. And your hand held up as if you're holding a lantern. No! 
You sat down while I looked away. But I heard your little butt thud on the wood. I warned them. Those dirty little kids shouldn't have bullied him and his doll. Yes, I hear, hear that going on. I'm reading. I told their parents, but what's the use if they're the same themselves? They also called me crazy. Something opened the gate behind me. So are you his doll? Him, I'm guessing, being the person they didn't want to find out about their killing of the so-called witch. Wait. It's out of focus, but I think they're... I would bet that that's a hanging body in there. Cannot go inside. Those aren't come towards me type of noises, but I just have to follow the light. I swear I can hear squelching in the mud that isn't me. Oh god, it's the dark presence from Alan Wake. What was that? That sounded like something whizzed by my head just there. The echoes of some big fire, maybe? Look, there's gas cans lying all over the place. Makes sense considering, well, the vehicles here, but still. My attention is more drawn to the bright glow ahead of me and the sounds of suffering. Which are just as abruptly wiped from our vision. And of course, I can't help but keep turning around to see if we're being followed. Who am I kidding? I already know we are. What are those shapes? Mannequins. All mannequins posed in some scene with a fire at the center. You burned someone at the stake. A suspected witch, right? Who, I'm guessing, had nothing to do with whatever it is you were worried about. You're not just any mannequins. You've got faces carved into you, drawn on. Someone's burning at the center, but you're not all gathered around. You're running away, doubled over. Did this not go as planned? A dummy. It's all your fault. I haven't done anything wrong to you. My only friend was my doll. But you were laughing at him. Laughing at me. You even took a loved one away from me. And I've shown you what it's like. You will live in agony forever. And this will not change in any way. You all paid for your assumptions. They became what you thought they were because of you. God, <laughs> what, what I'm liking about this, beyond just the atmospherics, is that the sounds are not cliché. They're actually so visceral, so guttural, and yet not something I've heard a million times before, which kind of allows them to scrape right down my spine. Am I really going to look in here? I'm going to get kicked out of the way by Shrek. I'm going to. But there's nothing there. I count myself very lucky. 
The developer would have been well within their rights to punish me for that. That's so dark. What does that sound? Oh. Do we have one of those wind-up flashlights? Oh, look at this place. All crumbling and decaying. I, I do wonder just how long this place is meant to have been empty for. Look at all this debris on the ground. The, the urban exploration vibes from the games by this developer have always been a strong suit. And I can see that tradition is continuing here. The folks who lived here, maybe? I was at the old well. What I saw there and what Luca told me is true. They have to pay for it. I have to punish them. Did you maybe live here? Are those your parents? I is she the one that they took? And also, is Luca your doll? Howdy. This place may be abandoned, but this flashlight is useless and I can hear sounds all over. An old sewing machine. A locked door. Were those sheets like that before? I think they were. I think I'm just pretty spooked. Nothing to be seen out the window. Locked. So, what do we do then? Can we maybe leave? Just explore this little by little? There must be some reason we can come in here, right? Has something just entered with me? Well, the door opened. There's that. Has anything changed over here? Oh my god, hi. You again. You and your Gary's Mod missing texture ears. I have an idea. If I turn around... Oh my god. I thought you would have turned to face me, but you had something else in mind. Okay, where's... Where's that phone? Is it on the other side of this room? Almost didn't recognize it as a... Phone. What am I doing here? I have to leave. Are you seriously... You're coming to this conclusion now? I kind of figured by this point that you were all in. I don't like how silent things have suddenly gotten. Oh, hang on. I, I just want to do one more once-over for notes and readables. But I don't see anything. Oh, wait. There's one right here. Uh, they're so easy to miss. Two children. I can only say what I feel to my doll. Luca always listens to me. Luca is my friend. Howdy. Luca wasn't the only doll. Now, I can imagine that... I mean, I suppose you could be the ghost of Luca, but that's not... Oh my god. Glad we stuck around for details. That's not what we saw on the chair. Not what we saw being burned. Someone locked the door from the outside and closed that door behind me. There are bars on all the windows. I need to find another way to get out of here. Stop my goddamn it. Uh, I would just keep trying this forever. And no, 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 wait! Didn't even have time to register what that was. All I know is I don't like it. Oh my god. Oh, this game is actually tying my stomach in knots a little bit. 
Or maybe I need to eat something, I don't know. Oh, look at your little buck teeth. I just heard a thing happen. Yeah, that's what I thought. This game really likes to utilize the hey look over there. Look, I don't like that. I don't like that. Is that coming from this? I do not like what's happening right now. Nope, stop. Yeah, I know, I know. In one of these flickers, there'll be a thing. I honestly can't tell what's moving. Flashing lights, warning everyone. There could be a million subtle things changing and I wouldn't even know it. Just hit me with the thing. Oh god, I have to I have to trigger something myself, don't I? I hate this. I hate this. What's going on here? I think we've just encountered the spirit of Luca. Just hit me with the jump scare. Just do it. Just do it. What is this? Wait, why do we suddenly have like a blue light that's really only local? It had to happen. When I saw that boy through the window, I realized that he saw something he shouldn't have seen. I need to get ahead of him. So maybe you are responsible for this, like originally. You were hanging out outside the window or just inside it. Oh my god, stop, stop doing that, okay? Just none of use. <laughs> what is this? Good, good question. Very good question. Probably something I would be asking myself in this very moment. Reasonable and astute. A girl and a baby. It's been two weeks since my mom disappeared. There's no news. I went to the precinct officer, but he doesn't care about it. He said she left because of me, but I know she wouldn't do that. She loves me. Something must have happened to her while stuff builds all around me, which we now have to turn to face. Is the radio back on? It's like someone long dead were having their nightmare. Why does that sound so familiar to me? Is it maybe used in another of their games? I mean, it's... Probably not an original song. But... Yeah. I need to find a way up to the attic. Maybe there's a window there. <laughs> I'm being toyed with, literally. Okay, well, I know there's a ladder over here that we can grab. <gasps> Howdy, are you... Are, are you a recreation of the townsfolk closing in to carry out their final lynching? First the doll, then mother, then ourselves. Well, let's get up there. What's the worst that can happen? A candle already lit for us. Hi! Howdy! Oh look, a Russian nesting doll. Do you have a key or something in you? I don't like the way you're peeking around the corner like that. Like you were huddled up here waiting for me. A little shrine. Was this your hiding spot? Oh my 
God, I don't like the poses these things are in. A little voodoo doll in a coffin. It's been four weeks since the disappearance. Luca told me that it was the children's fault. He gave me a letter from his mother. And he said I had to find out the truth. I see what you were trying to do there. These jackets are hung up in all just the right spots. There's a note right here. Onomatopoeia out here. One, I lock the doors. Two, I close my eyes. Three, find a place for yourself. Four, don't breathe. Five, feel your heart pounding. Six, wait. The ladder must have fallen. I must jump. Okay, I never got to turn off the TV. But let's jump. I see you there. Oh my god. I don't know how bad that's gonna look after compression, but for me, like, I could just make out your outline on the edge of the darkness. Okay, where do I go now? Back to here. We haven't spent a lot of time in here. Back the other way, perhaps? I never see them move, but I always feel them moving in on me. Oh my god! Oh my god! You're like a- you're not even a mannequin, you're like an emaciated person! Are you- wait. Are you maybe not even paranormal? Perhaps this boy still living here? There's a secret door here. There must be keys and a crowbar somewhere. I in my professional opinion, as a horror let's player, I believe the crowbar renders the keys redundant, sir. Okay, so one, two, three. And a note. To open the lock, use the hints. Uh, well, I guess it has something to do with the phone. You're out there using the sewing machine and humming to yourself. Which makes sense. I can see you're in need of some duds. But what about this phone? Oh, right here! Right beside it! I'm hearing crackling sounds. The sounds of unseen things moving outside. Next, I guess, beside a window. And probably one out there. And we've got a third hint. He found it. What do you mean, he found it? Well, clearly that's on a, on a cabinet or dresser. Was that back here? I don't know. Alright, let's find this window, shall we? Perhaps this one? Yes, right here. That's two. Now we need only one more, although that jump scare sort of precludes the idea of you being a still living human trapped here. That was actually an idea that was somewhat explored in, uh, in Summer of 58. Or at least it's an idea that I had at one point while playing. Uh, right about here, perhaps? Okay, you guided my vision just now. But where's the key? 
Well, actually, you said he found it. You actually said he found it. Which means that um, now I'm stuck looking at a place where things should be but isn't, and all I can do is turn around while the sounds of wood creak behind me. So let's just, yep, yep. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks. A million! I agree, subtitles, I agree. Not in my vocabulary, but I agree. All right, let's start undoing some undoables. Oh no, you want me to find a crowbar before I do any of that? Oh, look, there's a mannequin beneath, reaching out, playing with its toy plane. I, I love this. It's mostly taking place in a fairly small environment, but it is so saturated with details. And even though there's enough scares for even if you don't see any of them, it's still rewarding you for looking around. Like, in every instance, and, well, some of these things are changing as we go. There's got to be a crowbar somewhere. We can't get back up to the attic. Ah, right here, actually. There we go. I just didn't recognize it as such. We should now have all we need to get through to your secret lair. I don't like some of the sounds I'm hearing. What is this place? I'll tell you what this place is. It's the place from the menu. Leaving us actually quite brilliantly with a feeling of familiarity as we enter. Oh my god, why do you all look like school kids push pressing their ears against the door because a classmate has just gotten in trouble? Like you're all gathered outside the office. I feel like I'm being marched to my doom and you're all equal parts afraid and curious to see what'll happen. Takan, I'll understand you if you're mad at me. I knew that deep down you wanted to have real friends, and you missed the live communication with other people. I couldn't let anyone get close to our family, otherwise they would have found out our secret. And what happened to me now would have happened much earlier. You were kind to everyone, but they didn't deserve it. I wanted the best for you. My mother, your grandmother taught me many things. And she also taught me not to trust people, because they're afraid of people like me. So there really was something about you. Oh, look at you in your cage. And now we're trapped. And there are plenty of others in here with us. Oh my god, look at you. Well, now we've got our knife. Are we to use it on you? Look at the way you move. All oh, those joints. I'm sorry, I was looking at this. Did you jump scare or did you just phase out of existence? Either way, much obliged, but we still can't leave. And our light's out. Come on, turn on. Luca! Hey, nice to meet you. You know, I'd never burn you at the stake. 
You stay the way you are. And no peeking, please. I get it, so you represent the children. And maybe you, the adults, discovering the horror? Help us. Please help us. We're here. And another voice trying to silence them. So it is more than one presence. Trapped in the one trapping. But we still can't go through this door. You again. Here's a place for me. Right in the corner, just like when I'm at a party. Absolute stillness. You told me to wait. But you're gonna make me move, aren't you? You're gonna make me move and then I'll be punished for the rule I had to break. If you could just scooch over a bit. Oh no. I am not qualified to perform an emergency C-section. Especially with someone who appears to be at most a couple weeks pregnant. Knives in all of you. In the stomach, back, and heart. hardly see a thing, but it seems like we're moving down into a dark, musty basement. I always talk about how I need to brighten things in post because the recording for some reason makes it a little darker. Guys, if all you're seeing is mostly black, you're seeing what I'm seeing. Six kids bullied me. They mocked me because I was too kind. Because I'm not like everyone else. They were involved in the murder of my mother. I was able to punish five people. They wanted so much to go home to their mom and dad. I let their parents find the children on my doorstep. But what they saw, they couldn't believe their eyes. Their children were mutilated. Now they're going to suffer. Just like me. A whole bunch of crates blocking this door. And a screwdriver, some sort of tool to conveniently dismantle this with. 
can actually see you moving back there. You're not just a sound. Okay, let's head backward. Did that open some way for us? Oh, we still can't mess with that padlock. Stop you. Oh, right here. Okay. With bloody handprints, like someone's tried to do this before. But as always, the realistic sounds are not doing anything to temper my anxiety. Look at you. It's like there's real flesh beyond the wood. Kind of like that doll upstairs, the bear. Well, the nightmare face that we saw almost looks like what's underneath you. Dear son, don't be afraid of death. Death is rebirth. You've done a lot. A new stage has arrived. Let them think they've beaten you. It will destroy them. So is this a case of you do have special powers unlocked upon death? And if they strike you down, you'll become more powerful than they can possibly imagine. Also, that book is bound in human skin, isn't it? So, it's a strange thing where you actually were what they thought you were, except you were willing to just live peacefully. In the end, it was both of your natures that prevented that. Perhaps we can stand in the circle here. <laughs> Standing in this candlelit circle, staring into the darkness beyond those curtains is quite eerie, if I must say. Can we do anything with you? Is there something we need to pick up? Darwin, any advice? Perhaps play the gramophone? Oh my. It must be my graduation. Come here. Don't be afraid. Come here. Okay. Why is this so low? Uh. Oh. oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh, it's this again. get through here now. Without the key, we can't get through. Somebody's Keeping up with media. Hearing those muffled sounds in the other room and all these children's toys right here. And the glow from, I guess, our camera light. I can't help but be reminded of Skinamarink. Bolt cutters. Are we making a choice? Because I can hear a radio in this room and humming in this. He 
cut out our tongue and sewed up our mouths so we couldn't scream. He wanted us to play with him. We asked to go home, said we were sorry, but he replied that the time would come and the parents would see us again. Didn't just kill you, actually kept you here. And the sounds from this doorway have stopped. Not only that, but our friend is gone. I saw what he did to one of us, with someone who didn't have time to hide. It was terrible. He said that he would return us to our parents only in this form. It was true. This is the house of the one who kidnapped the children. People found out about everything and came to deal with it. He turned you into the mannequins, not just representations, it is you. And I heard that breathing over my shoulder. So now we're to... I'm gonna keep a happy thought and assume you just wanted to show me your story. I'll be honest, you don't come out super sympathetic in this either. Although, I do get it. This way, then? But now we can open this book. I need a lighter, a doll, and candles. Well, uh, dolls and candles, no shortage. But is there any particular doll you need our entourage has left us? Well, let's go back. What I'm seeing is that this game is very much a lot of, hey, look over here so we can do our trigger. Ah! I tabbed out. I tabbed out. But you know what? That's not the worst thing, because this game is deeply atmospheric and scary in its own right. Howdy doody. Hey, that's appropriate. Now we need a lighter and candles. Well, there's a candle. Can't we take that one? Howdy. Well, here's the lighter. Now we just need candles. I mean, d does the fact that these candles are already in the room, does that just count? Oh, right here. And now the circle, am I right? By burning him, we're burning you. Let me just scooch on past the flames there. And let's exercise this curse. Thank you. You have no idea what you've done. You're right, I have no idea if I've done the right thing or the wrong thing. Let's get out of here. I need gasoline. I'll burn this house down. Well, there's no shortage of gas in this place if all the cans we've seen are anything to go by. Just, let's try not to start a fire until we're out of here, okay? Yep, here we go. And we've got our lighter, so... Up it goes. Will it make a difference? Will we make it worse? Have we already made it worse? I guess we'll see. And we 
get the achievement. I'm counting to six. That fire burning in the distance, a real one now. And we take our leave. The music building to a sense of victory, but... Well, again, who knows if we've actually done a good thing, and... and look at the state of our vehicle, who knows when we'll be able to make contact with someone? Hello? Kitty? Oh, I can hear your purr all the way from here. You're a little lawnmower. Hi! Hey, baby! There's a telephone connection. Maybe the cat represents a grateful spirit? Hello, rescue service. What happened? Hello? I see a house burning in an abandoned village. Call the fire department. I'll explain where I am now. I recently watched a blogger. He said he didn't believe in anything paranormal and was in houses where, according to eyewitnesses, something was happening. But he didn't find any evidence until one day he arrived at an abandoned pioneer camp. To be honest, I didn't believe him. I thought that everything he filmed was staged. But now, after everything I've seen and experienced, I realize that the world is not as simple as it seems, and we're not alone. Entities are always nearby, and until you see it for yourself, you won't believe it. I don't know why I decided on this ritual. I wanted to run, but something inside me demanded to put an end to all this. As a result, I realized that I was in this place for a reason but I have no idea what lies ahead of me. That sounds like a reference to Summer of 58. And if I recall, the ending of Summer 58 did something similar as well, sort of connecting the world of all these games, even if the stories don't necessarily line up, which is kind of neat. A nice little reward for those who play these short little experiences. But that was, I'm counting to six, and I really liked that a lot. It was very basic in its gameplay, very much a walking simulator, even fewer gameplay and puzzle elements than something like Summer of 58. But the graphics were so good, the sound design so directional. I mean, I always felt like something was right behind me or just off screen, which left me always squinting into the dark. The way this game handled darkness was amazing, and even though it might not end up translating too well into video due to compression, on my screen it was just, uh, just chef's kiss. And we're back at the menu. I was waiting to see if there would be a post-credits, because Summer of 58 had one uh, advertising a later game. Or maybe Thanos will arrive, I don't know. But I guess what I'm getting to is what it lacks in gameplay and depth, it certainly makes up for in just environmental complexity and just sheer, just sheer immersion in the scares themselves. It, it makes you feel like you're there. I mean, if you're in a room and the lights turn out on you, you are going to be scared. Good timing, teddy bear. Uh, and this took it up to 11. It was a virtual haunted house, and I really do like this genre. I liked the story that it built. I liked the environments most of all. And, you know, I'm a huge sucker for those. And I just loved feeling like I was there, which in my opinion is one of the best things a horror game can do. I'm sorry if my voice quality isn't so good in this video, I did notice fairly late in recording that my levels were not nearly what they should be in Audacity, and I'm pretty sure what happened was this game launched Steam VR for some reason, and what tends to happen then is, uh, even though it says it's still using the same device, it'll use the newer one. Um, so it says Zoom H6, it's probably using the Index, which is on the other side of the room. I do have OBS recording the H6, like, directly, so I'll still have that. Uh, but it tends to not sound as good, so sorry for that. Love the game. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you 
in the next one.